Hello everyone, welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we are solving a problem from the topic ray optics, where the subtopic is reflection of the light on a plane surface. Let us first understand what is given in the problem. The problem is like this. There are two plane mirrors which are inclined at an angle theta. Here is that. Two plane mirrors inclined at an angle theta. A light ray incident on one mirror. This is that light ray. Incident light ray. Striking the first mirror at the point B. Gets reflected from the other mirror. This is the second mirror. This is the reflected light ray as shown. What is the angle of deviation of that light ray? So, it is supposed to go like this, but it has gone like this. So, it has been deviated its path by this much angle. That's a total deviation. I need to measure the total deviation. Let us check what is happening at each of the incidents. The light ray first strikes the mirror at the point B. Here. The line that I have drawn is nothing but the normal. Now, this is suppose angle of incidence obviously. If I call like alpha, angle of reflection is also equal to alpha because when the light ray incidence on a plane mirror, angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. If we observe a little carefully, if there is no mirror, this light ray could have gone like this. But because of the mirror, it came like this. It is supposed to go like this. But it has gone like this. So I would like to say this is how much it has been deviated here. Deviation in the first case. It can be noticed very clearly if it has gone undeviated, this total angle could be 180 degree. But it has gone like this. So, how much this deviation 1, this value is this total 180 minus this 2 alpha. So, first deviation is. 180 minus 2 alpha. So the first light ray, it's very clear from this that after the first reflection, the light ray has deviated its path by an angle of 180 minus 2 alpha, where alpha is the angle of incidence. This is that value. It's clear that it's nothing but in clockwise direction. Let us see what is happening at the second incidence. This is the second incidence. This is the normal that I can draw. This is an angle of incidence. If I call it beta, angle of reflection also equal to beta. If this mirror is not there, it could have gone like this, undeviated. But because of the mirror, it came like this. It is supposed to go like this, but it has gone like this. This is nothing but the deviation. 2. It's very clear this deviation 2 is, if it is undeviated, total angle is 180 minus this angle and this angle. 180 minus 2 beta. So, deviation due to second reflection of the light is 
180 minus 2 beta. Both the deviations are in the clockwise direction. This is also clockwise. So the total deviation of the light ray that's here, this value. Deviation in the first case plus deviation in the second case because both of them are acting in the same direction. Deviation in the first case 180 minus 2 alpha plus deviation in the second case 180 minus 2 beta. So the total deviation is 180 minus 2 alpha minus 2 beta. Sorry, one more 180 is there. So 180 and 180, 360 minus 2 of alpha plus beta is the total deviation. But the problem is the very alpha is not given to us or very beta is not given to us. We have to find out how much is that alpha is or how much is this beta is. If we observe the diagram little carefully to this mirror, this is the normal out of which angle of incidence is beta. Obviously in the triangle it is nothing but the remaining angle. That's nothing but equal to 90 minus beta. Similarly, this is the normal. Out of which this angle is alpha. So this angle, the remaining angle that is here is nothing but equal to 90 minus alpha. Now in the triangle, say for example, OP or else OBC, we have named this point already as B. In triangle OBC, the total angles, this corner angle is theta, this corner angle is 90 minus beta, this corner angle is 90 minus alpha is 180 degree. So theta minus alpha minus beta is 180 degree minus 180 degree. That's nothing but equal to zero. That implies theta is nothing but equal to alpha plus beta. Theta is nothing but equal to alpha plus beta. So the total deviation is Three sixty degree minus two of alpha plus beta is nothing but the theta, which is nothing but the angle between the two mirrors. So the deviation could be written like two pi minus two theta or three sixty minus two theta. That's the total angle of deviation when the light ray suffers two reflections, both at first mirror as well as second mirror. Thank you for watching. Keep coming back for more and more video lessons. Thank you.